what your experience was from it last year and just how much more intense does it get when you play it? Um, really just remembering uh, how bad we played at Tennessee last year and then how good we played uh, here at home and then the SEC tournament was a really good game. Um, but that's kind of what, what comes to my mind most. Uh, they're a really good coach team. Uh, have been. Rick Barnes has done a wonderful job there, so it'll be a good game for us. Yeah, they're not the same team as they were last year. Do you feel like that kind of impacts the rivalry in any sense, or is it still going to be heated? No, nah, I think it'll definitely still be pumped. Uh, teams are really close, uh, not too far, like three hours down the road. So uh, Tennessee, I'm sure our fans will be there, you know, screaming and yelling. Uh, one of my favorite places to play, honestly, uh, since I've been here. Uh, I thought that was one of the loudest crowds. So uh, it's going to be really fun to play Tennessee. Calvin mentioned that Dante's starting to work out a little bit. What have you seen from him? Um, from what I know, he shot like 500 times a game. Uh, <laughs> uh, but no, nah, I, I get to play him, uh, get to shoot around with him, you know, work out with him every now and then, play a little uh, fun one-on-one -on -one and stuff like that. But he's really good. He's really talented. He's going to be really good. Um, I don't know too much about uh, his timetable or anything like that, but I do know he's, he's going to be really good. Nate said a couple weeks ago that he had been going one on one with you. You'd been helping him with his footwork and so forth. How, how did that go? Um, honestly, we have been playing one on one ever since the summer. That's kind of how we got so close and why we're roommates uh, on away games. Uh, but really, it's just. Uh, you know, one of his, he has a lot of really uh, good strengths, but I guess one of his weaknesses was probably his foot speed. So just playing one-on-one -on -one with him and trying to get him to move his feet, you know, a little bit better um, is really what that's all about. Is there any hope for him? Uh, a lot better during that period? He has gotten better, but, you know, uh, you know, me and Nate, we go at it, so I, you know, I try to cook him anytime I can. So. <laughs> so what is it, what does that improve for your game? really well. Uh, what is it about yourself when you go on the road and you, you, you kind of get dialed in and yeah. you know, feel like you can get in the zone? Yeah, I think road games are probably the funnest for me. Uh, uh, being at Rupp and being at, uh, with these fans is really cool, uh, best fans in the world. But just to be on the road when everybody's cheering against you, uh, it's just yield 12 guys on the, on the court and, and in the coaching staff, so, and everybody else is cheering against you. I think that's kind of a different dynamic than uh, everybody cheering for you, which is also really cool. But either way, you know, you just got to come out ready to play and, and play together and try to get it done. You think those kind of, I've heard a lot of players through the years say, I love playing on the road where everybody hates me. Why is that such a motivator? Um, I don't know. Uh, everybody's wired different, I guess. Some people don't like it, uh, but I think something about it is, about me just is, is, is driven where if somebody doesn't like me, you just try to prove them wrong. And I think we're trying to do that as a team as well. Um, people doubt us. People are going to doubt us this year, and we just want to try to prove them wrong. So.